Alright, so this is going to be a video, uh, part one of a two-part video on how to clone with a 25-spot easy cloner. Um, or you can also just take this basic idea and uh, put it into humidity domes or, you know, whatever makeshift way you decide you want to do it. Um, this is the way I find that is the most effective, um, and uh, I get 100% success. So let's get started. Um, Basically, I use an ounce and a half of power clone, okay, um, and a, uh, per gallon uh, in your res, and this is a one gallon reservoir, easy cloner, 25 spot, and then I dip my cuttings in Clonex, okay, um, and I also, um, uh, humidity in the first three to five days of your cuttings is extremely important. If you want a 100% success rate, you have to have this. And if anybody tells you they get 100% success cloning without 100% humidity in the first three to five days, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's about enough of that. But anyways, um, if you just go down to your local hydro shop or whatever and you buy one of these plastic uh, humidity domes that, you know, that you can buy for your cloning thing, uh, for your cloning tray. Um, if you just take it and cut it in half, stick the other half up inside it, like this, like I did, and then it becomes basically a square. And they don't sell these things for these uh, easy cloners, and I don't know why. So, with a little stoner ingenuity, you can make your own. And uh, it fits on it, as you can see, perfectly. And uh, after the first three to five days, I, I do it for five, but uh, I'm going to try this time just to do three days with the humidity dome and then take it off. And when I do that, I switch my light cycle to 18.6. Uh, and uh, if I'm bringing a new breed in, that helps sex. But if not, I find that uh, it also helps with uh, faster root uh, production. So, um, all right. So, yeah, I think that's basically part one. I've gotten everything. Uh, this is everything that I use. And uh, part two will be actually in the bedroom where I will be taking the cu uh, cuttings, uh, super silver haze, and we will be uh, putting them into this guy here and uh, seeing what happens. All right. Stay tuned for part two.